Hey everybody. Hey, it's Timer coming at you again with some uh, Dirt 4. Uh, as I promised, this is uh, part 2 of our saga through uh, Dirt 4. And uh, this is complete with the uh, new team, the team colors, the whole deal. Um, I could not pick, uh, well I could pick the second color for the uh, livery, but it I tried a couple different things, but nothing really went with the purple, so had to have purple, so I don't know when it when it's when the car isn't in the sun, it looks black, which is even kind of cooler than uh than what I expected so hopefully uh you guys enjoyed. Uh, all the coverage we've had so far, uh, uh, not only of Dirt, but of E3 and everything else. Um, been kind of a busy week. Uh, kind of took some time off uh, of everything. Well, not of everything. I still had to go to work. But uh, I took some time off from the uh, from recording and uh, from capture and everything else to uh, kind of get away from it a little bit. The E3 stuff hit me a little harder than I thought it did. And uh, I was just like, ugh, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so uh, I needed a little, a little time off, a little a little time away, and uh, it turned out that was a good idea. Uh, trying to build up my red hood in uh, Injustice 2, and um, working pr working out pretty well. He's a he's a good character. I like him. He definitely feels uh, feels different than any of the other cast members. So that's cool. It's always nice to have. You know, unique characters, uh, no matter how uh, no matter how that works. Um, put up the trailer for Sub Zero on the ch on the uh, web page. If you want to take a look at that, that's up there, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff. But uh, that's one of the last things I put up is the uh, Sub Zero trailer. Uh, Sub Zero looks pretty good. Uh, I was not a big fan of his addition to the game, and I was kind of in the camp of, well, you know, I understand that they have to do this because, you know, it's a, it's a business decision and everything else because Scorpion sold so well and everything else. I get that. I You know, I understand that whole thing. But uh, then when they said Raiden was also going to be in it, I'm like, okay, now wait a minute here. I'm not playing Mortal Kombat X here. This is Injustice 2, you know, let's just keep it with, you know, the Injustice 2 characters. Let's just keep it with, you know, DC characters. I guess I wouldn't have been so mad if, like, you know, they said, oh, well, you know, and also Batgirl, and also, you know, Solomon Grundy, and also, you know, kind of if they, if they were willing to bring back all the old characters and put them into the game as well, I would have been fine with that. I would have been like, okay, okay, you know, I, I get it. You know, let's we can do that. We can throw it all in there. If we're gonna throw it all in there, fine. Let's throw it all in there. I'm I'm good. You know, but as it stands right now, where there's some characters that I think are beloved by people who and uh, they're not just they're just not there, and it doesn't seem like there's um, a plan in at least the next year to put them in there to have two Mortal Kombat characters added. That's not right. I mean, they should just put those in, you know, there should be like a Mortal Kombat pack. And they can put that in later. You know, we can decide, you know, people can decide whether or not they want that. Um, they shouldn't, you know, mix them in with the regular characters that people do want. Because uh, I know that a lot of people, you know, I guess there's a significant number of people who don't buy, you know, the season pass for Mortal Kombat. Which I, which I don't understand, I mean, for uh, Injustice 2. Which I don't really understand because you want the new characters, right? I mean, you don't want to just have the base game. I mean, if you, if you just are interested in getting the base game and you don't care about the other characters, then why aren't you just waiting until the, the greatest hits version? You know, the, the definitive version or whatever they, whatever they end up calling it. Because that's going to be, you know, theoretically, either the same price or less than the game is now and you'll be getting all the characters and if you don't care enough about the the additional characters 
to use the to get the season pass. In other words, you don't care that you're not going to be able to, you know, uh, use those characters. That you're just going to have to fight against characters that you can't use, um, <laughs> which I I can't I couldn't do. Uh, that would be like that would be a little frustrating. Um, which probably means you don't play a lot. So it's like, well, you know, you should just wait it, you know. But hey, you know, whatever. I, I'm, you know, I'm. <laughs> I shouldn't judge, you know. But I just feel like, and I shouldn't be talking about this in a in a, in a Dirt Four video. Um, but this is this is more Dirt Four. This is more rally racing. This is the new. Um, this is the new championship. Now the way this works is you have to have the the you have to build your team and you have to um, hire a chief engineer. Uh, so you have to buy the car, and you have to hire a chief engineer, and then you can have access to this to these races. Um, now the chief engineers that you have access to are not that great, um, partially because uh, the facilities, a lot of those, the facilities that will attract better people, are locked behind a level cap. So uh, you have to level up. So at this point in the game, if I were to restart it, which you know, maybe if I get a, the PC version, you know, I'll be restarting it. Um, maybe what I would have done was I would have done some joyride before this. Uh, so what I would have done was I would have hit the the cap in uh, in the in the regular game. So in other words, they would have said, okay, well, if you want to progress any further, you have to make a team. At that point, I would have gone to joyride, and I would have uh, leveled up. As far as I possibly could in Joyride. Uh, in other words, not like possibly could, like sitting there for, for 10 hours leveling up. No, what I mean is before I could be like, okay, I'm bored of this. I don't want to do this anymore. And then I would have gone into the, the uh, buying, you know, making the team and buy, you know, buying stuff and everything else. So I would have had more money and I would have had a higher level. So both of those things would have helped. Um, this is probably the way that they want you to do it. Uh, not the way that I just said, but the way that I'm doing it now. But I don't know what the downside would be to doing it the way that I just suggested. So if, if you can think of a downside and you decide you don't want to do it that way, then, you know, it's up to you. Obviously, it's up to you anyway, but I, it's just a suggestion. It's probably what I'm going to do when I, uh, like I said, when I restart this. Um, because I'll have to, obviously. Because I, I do want Dirt to, Dirt 4 for the computer. It's the only Dirt I don't own on the PC. So uh, I definitely will want it. Um, but as far as uh, this part of it, I'll definitely, you know, start differently than I did now. Um, it'll be interesting because I'll be probably using an Xbox One controller instead of a PS4 controller. So it'll be interesting to see how different the uh, different the, fi the, the handling is um, between the two. Because I'm more, I guess I'm more used to driving with an Xbox controller, but I'm more used, I'm more used to doing everything else with a PS4 controller. So I don't know how that, you know, I don't know how that works out. I don't know how that, uh, I don't know how that shakes out. Um, so anyway. Um, so that's about it with this. Uh, you do... I, I don't go as far in this video as I did with the last video. This video is much shorter, uh, if you didn't notice. Um, I just was trying to kind of get the videos down to a more like bite-sized piece uh, in case people don't want to spend an hour watching me drive around. Uh, and also, it's a little bit more difficult to have commentary for that long about this type of thing. So, uh, this also helps, you know. Um, but what I will say is that if uh, you do want the videos to be longer, please let me know. If you think the videos are long enough, let me know about that as well. All that stuff in the comments, please let me know. Because uh, I never know what people want as far as how long they want the videos to be. I hear so many different conflicting things. Like, some people 
on YouTube will say, no, your videos have to be at least an hour long or people get, you know, people don't like that because then it, it cuts up what you're doing too much and people don't want to do that. People want to sit down and watch the whole thing. Uh, other people say, no, no, they don't. People only want like the most a half hour long video so they can watch it, you know, uh, on their off time, you know, when they're like taking a break or, you know, doing the dishes or something like that, I, you know, whatever. Um, personally, I like the videos to be as long as possible. Um, and I watch a lot of YouTube and maybe that's the reason why I want the videos to be as long as possible. Um, because I watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, but for people who don't, people who, you know, don't, uh, don't do that. Maybe you feel totally differently about it than I do. So please let me know in the comments. Please let me know how you feel about it one way or another. Um, I'm kind of tending towards the shorter videos um, more because I can have more videos uh, than um, doing the longer videos. It seems like having more shorter videos is better because people tend to discover them a lot easier. Um, for whatever reason, um, most of my videos get discovered from uh, searches on YouTube or on Google. So... Um, being being that, it's much better to have more videos uh, that are shorter to have more fodder for the system uh, than it is to have, uh, you know, just a, a few longer videos. Uh, but again, if uh, you guys are the audience, so please let me know what your preferences are and uh, kind of what you're interested in with, um, you know, kind of going forward with... Uh, you know, while you're in there commenting, um, kind of what your, like, of the past few things that I've done, not including E3, obviously, but I mean, like, you know, Dirt 4, that Dark Rose Valkyrie game, the, um, not that I'm going to play Dark Rose Valkyrie again, so don't, don't, don't put that down. If you like the Dark Rose Valkyrie video, great. That'll tell me that you like, you know, kind of offbeat stuff, and I, you know, games that you haven't heard of before, you know, something that you could discover or whatever, but I'm not playing Dark Rose Valkyrie again, just to let you know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> are, you know, are you more interested in the driving games, the fighting games, the, the, um, the Heroes of the Storm stuff, you know, kind of what are you guys interested in, or are you just kind of like whatever, you know, I just want a variety, I uh, just watch a whole bunch of different things, I get sick of the same thing over and over again. Um, I mean, that too could be a choice as well because uh, I know a lot of people are like that. Uh, I have a tendency to kind of go through uh, periods of, you know, being really, really interested in one thing and then it kind of wanes and goes away and then I pick something else and I get really, really interested and then it kind of wanes and goes away. And, you know, maybe I come back to that other thing eventually. Um, but like that, that's kind of the way it is. It kind of goes in these cycles and, um, what I'm trying to do here is more kind of stick with, uh, the release schedule that's out there, you know, and, uh, show the newest stuff that I can so that you guys get, you know, so that you guys can make buying decisions or, you know, make a decision of whether or not you want to play this game. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, I've kind of left the whole thing of like playing through the entire game kind of at the wayside uh, because it doesn't seem like people are all that into that, um, at least not with the games that I've been picking. So, um, you know, if you want to tell me about that too, you know, is there a particular game that you would like me to see play through all the way? Um, you know, we'll take a look at that and, uh, you know, Maybe we'll throw up a poll at some point or something. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely in the future, not like immediate future, but soon probably going to be finishing off uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, no matter how long that takes me. Uh, also in the near future, not probably very soon, but sometime in the next six weeks, probably going to be playing through the entire... Uncharted series again. I'm going to be doing that for uh, the uh, pending release of Uncharted Lost Legacy. And of course, finishing off Horizon Zero Dawn 
because the new DLC is going to be coming out and uh, I want to be ready for that. So both of those things are definitely in the future. Uh, it's going to be all dependent on when we, what we have time to do and when. Um, I am guessing it's going to be um, right around the time that I finish this game. Hopefully July. Um, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, I also understand that Sub-Zero is coming out in July, so we will have some Sub-Zero videos. We're definitely going to have to have some Red Hood videos. Uh, I haven't gotten to that yet because I want to build up my Red Hood a little bit more. And also, uh, his gear, while cool and varied, um, he has uh, he doesn't have a ton of... His, his drop rate is not great. Uh, it's okay, but not great. And he, I've gotten a lot of junk gear uh, for him. So, it looks good, but, you know, it's kind of junk. Um, I'm pretty happy with the gear I have right now. Um, but I will be happier when he's 20. So, uh, when he's 20, we'll, we'll deal with that. So, anyway. Um, and as far as Old Man Tekken, that is definitely going to continue. Uh, again, I'm just kind of taking a break from everything and uh, did this video um, a while ago, so all I had to do was add the audio to it. So um, that's why this video is going up and not Old Man Tekken, but uh, you will be seeing an Old Man Tekken episode 3 uh, as soon as I can uh, do it. So uh, it won't be too long, but again, it won't be like tomorrow. So, don't uh, <laughs> don't get too excited. Uh, most of the videos that have gone up in the past two weeks have kind of had a lukewarm reception, um, and I'm kind of letting the, letting them, you know, letting more people watch them, letting more people discover them. Um, for me, it was kind of a lot of videos in a short period of time. So I have to um, kind of pace myself a little bit as well so that I don't get burned out and then uh, you won't have anything to watch for a very long time. So just trying to do that, just trying to kind of get a grip and, and, and get back to a, a reasonable schedule and uh, something where I'm not doing more than one video a day or even doing there was at one point I was doing um, editing um, audio uh, editing audio and putting it up in the same day and then I'd have to do another one for that day or the next day so um, yeah that was a little much uh, I don't want to necessarily do that and work as well uh, which is what I was doing I was going to work I was editing, I was sometimes, I was going to work, I was capturing, I was editing and putting on audio uh, for at least a quarter of those videos that went up last week. So, um, yeah, no, that's not going to happen again. Sorry. Uh, but I am coming up on uh, some time off, so I'm probably going to do, at the very least, way more game capture to try to get... Uh, as much stuff in the, you know, as much stuff ready to go up as I possibly can. So uh, we're going to do with, we're going to deal with that. So uh, I don't have a ton of this video left. Uh, there's at least, there's like the rest of this race and like one more race. So uh, we're just going to, uh, I think it's one, not one, one more race. It's like one more segment. So, um, or maybe not even that. No, it's not even that. Okay, so I'm not even gonna do that. So all I'm saying with all this, I know it sounds more like a more. This all sounds more like a channel update than it does a, a video gameplay thing of Dirt Four. But there's not too much I can talk about that I didn't talk about in part one. If you haven't watched part one yet at all, go back and watch part one. Go and do that because that is where you're gonna find out. A ton of information about Dirt 4, and you'll be able to find out the answers to all your questions. This is just more rally racing. This is what we were doing in the last video, but I did more explanation of what was going on because it was the first video that we were doing with rally racing. 
Uh, as I had stated before, I am not going to do land rush or any of that other stuff until I get my team in better shape to be able to do those things. So you're going to see a lot of rally racing with this. So I do apologize, but uh, that will, that's just because we're, you know, we're getting to that point. Now, if this video and the other video don't do very well, I'm going to do the rest of the rally racing on my own time, not recorded, and then we're going to go back in and we're going to watch the land rush and the rally cross. Um, so I'm not going to show any joyride. I'm not going to show any more rally unless these two videos do, you know, okay. Not trying to break any records or make big money. <laughs> what a, anyway, we won't even go into that. This thing's almost over. Anyway, um, either way, <laughs> just a reasonable amount of views. That's all I'm after with this. And since E3 is over and the, the week of E3 is behind us, uh, I am sure that most of the coverage of these things will pick up a little bit as it was doing really badly during E3 because nobody was searching for it. Uh, the other thing you might want to look at is the fact that uh, Dirt 4 is not listed in the YouTube gaming catalog yet. At least it wasn't when part one went up. So uh, this is probably going to go in under Dirt Rally. So that might also be a part of the problem. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Um, I think we're just going to be stopping for the Marshall here and then we're going to get a load screen. So uh, I will uh, wait it out with you guys to make sure that it's not, we don't have a big piece left that you're going to, be sitting here in silence for but I think it's uh, I think that's all it is we're gonna stop for the marshal and then uh, it's gonna be the end of the championship and we're all gonna go yay because I won I think I won at least I got I won this segment if nothing else I think I got third if I'm not wrong if I'm not mistaken I think I got third I won the segment but I think I got like third Let's see what it says here Yeah, I got third. And this was not enough for my sponsor. They were all upset. So, oh well. I, I did hire a new PR person, so we'll see how that works out. So, uh, I will talk to you guys, talk to you awesome people later. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first Dirt 4 video, go back and watch part one. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button on your way out. Uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.